Hello, I'm Lucas. Three weeks ago, I saw the video on YouTube and people saying that don't buy any lighting from China. And I saw many review video on this 18 years dollar parking which you could get uh, from the eBay, from the Amazon. And I also see the review video on this little little power lights. They say there are many problems with the lighting that is made in China. For example, the uh, power code here is not stable. It's easy to pop out. For example, the little power light is not functioning with the uh, DMS model. It's not working with the master slave. For example, uh, this LED power cam is not very really good as the uh, American DJ. I saw many videos and uh, I saw every comment on the videos. They are twice. Well, the lighting child is garbage. Don't buy it if you waste your time, waste your money. And two, people say that you have to do some more research. Because, you know, uh, every light is from China. So we lighting and American DJ, they also get from China. So, what? You have to do some more research. You know, yeah, sometimes we get light from China is not good, but there are also some good light from China. All you need is to do some more research. And I saw the comments they asking people who get lighting from China and ask how was it? Did it function well? Did it work well? Well, I'm just thinking, still not many people knowing about the uh, China lightings. So I'm going to build more video to tell you how the lighting made in China exactly looks like, how it functions. Today I will uh, start with the uh, 18 RD podcasts. Many people say that the power code here will be easy to pop out and uh, it is really, really noisy when it's working. The fan is noisy. It's not good when you're using it in the church. Okay, what you see in my hand, it is the 18 average power can. You know, on the face you saw the a screw here and a screw here. I'm with the screwdriver, I'm going to uh, open it up. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to explain that. Yeah, I see the power code here. You know, it's not pop out, but here it's not really tight. Not really tight, it's a little bit like, uh, a little bit loose. But the light inside is not pop out. I lose this screw one by one and see what's inside. The alpha screw on the face and the six screw on the edge. And I saw the video, people saying that the band inside is really nice. It's not good when using it on the church or for somewhere need quiet lightings. Okay, the last two. Yep, now all the screw is out and the uh, firstly, the ring outside out and the, uh, there is a cover which to uh, pass the uh, mirror, the are the mirrors and there are still four of these screw, four of these screw and yes, you see the lamp, the lamp could be uh, pulled out. And this cover is to uh, press the lens. 
Okay, let's uh, make this four screw out. Alright, uh, last one. Yep. All the screw is out and I see what's inside. Okay. So, uh, you see inside the 18 LED packet, there is a, a power supplier, a circuit board which for the program, and there is a DMX, DMX circuit board. I didn't see any fan inside here. Look, there's no fan. So it would be okay when you open that, it would not be that noisy, I think. So I guess, you know, this 18 LED packet is not the one which I saw from the YouTube. It's not get from eBay. So you see, all the lighting look exactly the same outside, but inside is not exactly the same. Okay, uh, let's check the uh, power code here. Look, the power here is connecting with the uh, screw and there you see uh, there is the blue light and this red light this is the uh, color this is the black color the black color yeah it's the same part Sa same part as this one the black color this is black cup you saw the, this is the black color so i don't think the uh, the light is easy to pop out I mean, I mean, I mean the uh, the red and the uh, blue light will easy to pop out. I don't think so because you know if this light, if this, if this, okay, you don't see it. If this light is pop out, they won't work with the power supply. There won't be any uh, power go through this light. So if this pop out, this may be loose. Okay, you see the black cover. The black cover and the screw here is not really tight, but here, which go with the power, is with the screw. And if this one pop out, I don't think this light will work. So obviously, we are not getting the uh, same package, though they look exactly the same outside, but inside is really different. I put the screw back. And uh, let's have a look at this light again. The outside here is the uh, plastic, and the face here cover is the metal. And uh, on the back side, uh, there is the uh, DMX in and out, the LCD display board, the uh, air cooling hole. Yeah, people think that this light is not functional with the DMX. So I got the controller here. Let's see how it performs with the DMX. I put the uh, DMX cable back again. And the, uh, I adjust the light with the uh, A001 and enter. Yeah. So uh, you cannot see the controller here. Let's put the camera down. Okay. Yeah, this will be good. And uh, open the power. Menu. 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 Let's see. It's no function. Why? Because here it did not suggest the uh, 
A001, I guess I just, okay, two, and three, okay, it functions. Yeah, it's strobing, all right? And it's so strobe down. So I guess the channel three is the strobe. I'll get the channel four, nothing. Channel, oh, channel five, yes, channel five is working. It's working with the uh, red. Yeah, channel five is working with the red. And get the uh, channel six. Okay, put the channel five down. Channel six is green. Channel six green. And uh, get the uh, channel seven. Channel seven is the uh, blue. Yep. So what, what, what about the channel one? Get it, channel one down. And then light down. So I guess the channel one is the uh, dimmer, dimmer for the whole light, yeah. You have to put the channel one up. So the other colors, the functions. With the red, green, and blue. And put all this on. Yeah. And what about this uh, channel three? Channel three is strobe, let's see. Yeah. No, it's not strobe, channel three is not strobe. It's the uh, internal program. You, you can see the light changing. Yeah, let's put the uh, up down. Yeah, so put the channel three down. No, it's not function. Okay, ch put the channel three up. Yeah, it's the internal program. The color changing. Channel four. What's channel four? Ah, I guess channel channel four is the uh, the speed. Maybe it's the speed. Yeah, it's pretty high. Put the channel four a little bit, like two hundred and forty-five in the value, two hundred fifty-five. So the tr speed change a little bit faster. No, it's not channel four. It's not. I see. Now I'm, I'm working with the channel uh, 3, the color is changing. And put the channel 4 up. Yeah, it changing faster. Yeah, I guess it's the speed, yeah. Maybe, I didn't get a menu, <laughs> but check out a menu. Alright, what about channel 2? Oh, channel 2 is the stro stroke. It's stroke channel 2. Put a stroke, yeah, put a stroke down. And channel three is the uh, internal program. Put channel three down. So, yeah, you could not see any function in channel four. So I guess channel four is the speed. Okay, I put channel three up. And put channel four. Oh no, I guess channel 3, yeah, it's a little bit slow. And it's red. It first come with the red. And put it a little bit more. And then green. And then blue. And then all the colors on. And the other colors, it looks like pink. It's light, light green. Okay, yeah, when you put it up, it's the uh, color, color fading. It's color fading, yeah, now I'm playing with the uh, channel 4. I put it up. Oh, it comes to green. It's still fading. I put it up. Yeah, it's fading faster. So the channel 4 is speed. It's for the space, no doubt. Alright. So, you can see it's well with the DMX. And it functions well. Okay, let's put the channel 3 down. And put the channel 4 down. Go with the red, green, and blue, and channels. 
A, there's nothing on channel A. So the line is seven channels in total. The number one is the dimmer, and the number two is the strobe. Yeah, strobe. And the number three is the uh, internal program to scroll down, internal program. And the channel four is the speed for the uh, color fading. And the uh, channel five is the red. Channel five is red. Six is green. And the seven is blue. Yeah, that's right. Seven channel. Okay, let's put the light on the wall. Let, 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 let it project on the wall and see how it looks like. I just, you know, um, putting off my light and the, um, put the light on the wall, which you see. And then now I'm uh, putting the uh, green, blue, and the red all on. It comes into the white. You see the color mixing here is not really good. The color mixing is not really good. Because it's the light, it is the uh, single color LED, so you don't expect the Color mixing is good. Yeah. And let's put the uh, blue up. It comes into yellow. And get the green up. It comes into the red. Green and blue. Green. No, it's red. Sorry. Green, blue, and comes into white. Now I'm holding the um, light. It is light three meters away from the wall. Three meters away from the wall. And get the. Uh, Red, get a green, get a blue. All right, and getting the uh, stroke, stroke slowed from faster. Slow from fast. Okay, I get dimmer on the channel one, the dimmer. And change your value on the dimmer one. Yes, dimming. It's getting brighter. Get all the colors on, it comes into white. But you know what you saw on the camera is not really white because it's not the tri LED, it's not the 4 in 1 LED, it's only the single color LED, so it's not expecting it's good color mixing. And get dimmer slowly. Getting dark slowly and get it bright slowly. Okay, I get the uh, RGB off and put it in the internal program. What's inside the internal program? It's red and the uh, green.
and the blue, yellow, pink, dark blue, no, it's light blue, white. And you see the color fading. Yes, yeah, color fading. I turn the speed a little bit faster. Yes, yeah, always is color fading. I move the channel three. More values. Okay, that is color drumming. It seems so the color one by one. This light is working really quiet, really quiet. There's no noise at all. It cannot hear any noise from it. Really quiet. Yeah, let's put this speed a little bit slow. It's not really bright. It's not really bright, but it's working really smooth. Really quiet. Okay. Welcome back. We just test this light and I didn't make any problem with the DMX function and the power code here is working fine and uh, I'm 100% sure that light you gave from the eBay, gave from Amazon is absolutely not the same light as what I have here though they look the exact same. I have to tell you that there are thousands of factory making the same looking light but what's inside is different. The material they use is different, the price is different. You have to do some more research. Besides of this light, I got many similar products. For example, this 4-in-1 package which is similar as the American DJ Wall and uh, also got the uh, also got the Effect Palace. So I'm showing one by one, tell you what it exactly looks like, how it functions. All right, I'm Lucas. Today is over. If you like my video, leave the comment below. And if you want to see more about the dry lightings, please subscribe. If you want to have more information about other lightings, please leave the comments or send me emails. I will show you the videos. Thanks for watching.